Hello everyone, I got another Fight Cry video. Um, doing another one sooner than expected, um, because they actually dropped another DLC just a month after the last one. But it, it, it's cool, the game is alive in terms of new content. Um, in terms of player count, that's <laughs> not so much. But um, it, it, it's quite exciting to get another season so soon. And I think this is the best one. Um, they got another nice title screen thing, which I'm seeing a lot right now because my game's crashing a lot, which is new. I <laughs> I have not had this issue until this update because there's a patch update, fixed a bunch of stuff. Um, I just tried it now. It's actually loaded me in. So, and I play on Switch, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. There's a bunch of new loading screens as well and stuff. So, you know, a, a neat little visual change there. Um, one point is the DLC itself, and there's three packs, technically four, and we'll get into all of it, but I quite like these. So, Season three's out, the Slow Strickland pack's out, that comes with... Well, technically it's two arenas, but it's just the same arena with a different time of day. It looks cool, actually. Uh, mainly because it's just, you know, uh, the lighting and the background difference is quite significant. Um, I should also clarify, I don't even have the um, DLC right now. It just came out at the time of recording this. I'll probably get it soonish, maybe today. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm quite satisfied with this. I'm quite satisfied because it's £14, which is, I actually think, reasonable. Um, much more compared to the previous seasons, particularly Season 2. This only just goes to show how egregious the pricing of Season 2 was, I mainly the Tony Storm pack. Because let me show you the single packs here. You've got the upcoming audio pack, which is £5.79. For one wrestler, I'd say it's a bit steep. For AW Game Standards, it's just decent price. Also, it has 30 skin options, which is quite a lot. I think that's more than what Season season um, 2 had. And Season 2's big thing was, look at all these reskins. Um, which, I, I, I like the te different textures. I, I, I like there's a customization option. Um, the fact that paste it over the entire skin does make most of the possible combinations feel a bit tacky though um, I'll take it over no customization but I do think the focus should just be on regular alternate attires like how in that same San Pedro we got a bunch of attires and I thought this update would have more alt attires but it doesn't seem to actually be the case and the release date here if it is to be believed is in early March the 6th of March here um, so yeah, I think it's decent it's quite of Claudio in the game as well um, the lineup uh, does support the uh, the rumour um, of who was scanning to the game we we knew there was six, there was Swerve there was Claudio, there was Hater all three in this DLC, but there was also Soraya there was Edge and there was Samoa Joe so I think we're basically actually this season four. We've already been confirmed that there will be more content after this season. I don't think this is the last one. I think season four very well could be, but I am quite impressed how far we've gone since season one. Because to their credit, they are trying with this game. There, there is a lot going on, and the wait time isn't too ridiculous. I will say the fact that it's still like a month wait between these packs or one wrestler. I don't mind that way, necessarily, but it does feel like intentional drip feeding because the literal trailer showed off all three of them in game, and before we even had a full season two announcement, we had data mine complete gameplay of Tony Storm and the acclaimed. Yet with Tony Storm, you had to wait like an extra. You had to wait until January to get her. So I I, I feel like they're intentionally withholding. Um, any DLC that comes later, unlike season past one, which didn't have everything ready. And it makes sense that they want stuff to be ready for the passes, and it might be why there's less in each one. 
um, is now instead of doing two packs. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I think this is decent. Then there's the Jamie Hayter pack. Um, and it has five music tracks. And then Jamie Hayter herself, and that's it. So it's only £4 because there's not really any side content. That is still £6 less than what Tony Storm costed. And Tony Storm had like five skins and then the, the reskins, mind you, not actual different costumes, just, just reskins. Five of them compared to Claudio's 30 and Claudio himself is less than £6. Um, so Tony had that and then 10 music tracks. Whereas here it's only five, but like the six pound off. <laughs> it, each music pack is not worth over a pound. So it does just go to show how terribly priced the Tony Storm pack is. Um, and, and season two also the problem of just the uh, Beat the Elite mode, which is a terrible mode. It should have just been a free update. The only reason anyone owns it is by buying the season pass too. And that's because they were already charging £10 separate for Tony Storm and £10 for the Acclaim pack. And the Season 2 pass is £20. So you were just getting it for free. And that was overpriced. So Season Pass was pretty ridiculous. The Acclaim pack's fine. The Acclaim pack, I think, is fine. Two wrestlers and a, a pretty highly requested arena for £10 is fine. The arena itself, I think, looks like ass. That might just be the Switch port, but the Switch port looks on par with the other versions. Outside of some lighting stuff, and my issues are with light lighting. So I think it's only on the Switch version. Um, but if you just create a arena, it actually solves the... You, you can use the past create arena and you can solve that issue. But the lighting looks really bad for, for a £10 arena that's purely cosmetic. It does not look good. Um... But I thought that wasn't terribly priced, especially when it had a, a good amount of skins. Um, so yeah, I think £4 for one wrestler, that's fine. Matt Hardy was that price too, I think. Yeah, I think that's right. So yeah, I think this is reasonably priced enough, I'd say. It, it, again, it, it's going to be more expensive than, say, your WWE games, and that's because a smaller company they're going to need... A, a greater incentive to add this content, I feel. And I think that's valid. I, and I think a price like this isn't pushing it too much. Um, again, even this, I, I think it might be overpricing it a bit, but I do think this one's a lot more reasonable and a lot more logical with the prices than Season 2 or even Season 1. Um, so I was very surprised it was £14. I thought it would be another £20 at the least. Um, because this is much more, this is much more valuable than Season 2. I feel like, like, it's the same amount of wrestlers, but I think you're getting more skins in this one. I think the wrestlers themselves have overall bigger names. I, I mean, Tony's probably a bigger name than Jamie Hayter and Claudio. I mean, now Claudio is in WWE for years. I think more people know who Claudio is. But in terms of current relevancy... She's probably above those two. But, yeah, in general, I think these are more wanted names than the Acclaimed, you know? I, I think the Acclaimed are just kind of there. A nice little addition, but not really a big one. Um, whereas these are all three very requested names, and I think Season 4 is going to get even wilder because you have Samoa Joe, Soraya, and Edge. And those are three very big names. Um... Season 4, I, I, I'd hope to see a match type. I assume if they add any matches, it's just going to be behind a paywall. If they put Beat the Elite behind a paywall, which changes nothing with the gameplay, they just programmed it to have back-to-back -back matches. There is no difference in AI or anything. It is such a boring-ass mode. An abject failure if I've ever seen one. But, um... So, so based on that, I imagine any proper match types will just also be behind a paywall. And there's a steel cage in the files. I think we get a cage match at the least in future season, season four. I imagine season four will also follow the same pattern of one wrestler at a time. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. This release is in April, 
So again, it's one rest a month. And then I imagine it'll be a month away before we get season four. So I reckon expect by May to pay another like £14-ish. It, it, it's, I imagine season four will be the same pattern as this. It depends what the bonus content is and that will determine whether it's more expensive or not. I can't imagine it get any much cheaper than £14. I think £14 is quite reasonable, at least compared to the previous year of DLC. And I might as well show the current pack, this uh, pack, which is £8. Not worth it. I, I think this one is certainly egregiously priced. Sure, it contains an, an arena, but it's um, it's just for... And it says two new attire customization options. I don't know. I, I don't know specifically what that contains. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't think it's anything that major. Even though two is quite a small number, I don't think it's actually anything that crazy. Um, it might be t-shirts. It wouldn't surprise me. I, I wouldn't expect much um, from that, but I don't know. Um, the problem is they, 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 they list all this content, but then they don't really specify and stuff. And a lot of like, this extra stuff is very, very much extra stuff that you won't really notice you even was even part of your purchase. Um, but I, I, I'm sure another YouTuber will figure out at some point if I probably miss a heart if I, that, that's the only fiber YouTuber I trust. Um, I wouldn't trust Kenny Palmer. That guy's a twat. And I can't think of any other AEW YouTubers um, because who the fuck's keeping track of this game? Me, apparently. Um, but yeah, I think £8 is quite steep. I, I, I don't see any value in buying this pack separately. I'd just get the whole season pass, um, for sure. This one's definitely a bit more ridiculous. And last we have a freebie. We have a freebie for the fans. They have the cringiest fucking DLC pack, and that's besides the point. Um, we love our loyal fight forever, fans. Five new music tracks. See, we're getting music tracks for free, which I think we should be anyway. I don't see why... Any besides the fiends of the actual wrestlers in the game are locked behind paywalls. Um, and 10 new attire options are our way of saying thank you. And the attire options are for creator wrestler. Um, it, it's not actual different costumes. It's not like old attires for existing wrestlers. It, it, it's various new um, creator wrestler parts. I, I, I've noticed there's a lot of singlets. I don't know any specific stuff. But uh, that's a neat little bonus. I... Couldn't tell you why this is listed as a DLC though. Because they've done numerous patches where they, they will add a little bit of content for free. I don't know why this one warrants being a, a separate download to a patch update. Um, however, we'll take it. Um, I do think when I read 10 attire options, I expected more. However, however, create a rest that I have one and that's just getting more parts. I and I think they've been doing a decent job at that. It it's not a priority, but they have been doing a lot of stuff for it. I feel um, a lot of people just want the a complete overhaul mode, and that's just not happening. You're not going to do a complete overhaul of the creation suite. Like expect that for a sequel, right? Um, I've also seen a lot of people you know, still complain about the price stuff, which I, I I still think is valid. I still think even fourteen pound is. A bit more expensive considering it is just free wrestlers and some bonus stuff that a lot of people won't care about. Um, again, my, my main praise, praise for the for the price is just compared to the ridiculous pricing of the previous two seasons. This is a price that I can very much deal with. And a nice bonus is everything's coming on Switch at the same time. So um, that's nice. That's a nice change to the mess that was season two. Um, so yeah, I, I'm quite positive about this. I, again, my, my main want for this game is just match types. I don't even want like a new mode or anything. I just want match types. I think a lot of people have some ridiculous ass for this game. Um, and I'm just fine with it as is. I'm fine with doing exhibition and stuff. And, you know, customization options and new wrestlers will give me more, more options for doing exhibition stuff. But exhibition itself needs more options for the matches you know tornado tag 
very simple stuff like Tornado Tag or Handicap matches. So stuff that's in Road to Elite, multi-person ladder matches, you know. <laughs> Just match rules in general, like uh, give me a time limit or something, something like that. Two out of three falls, if you add a time limit, you can make an Iron Man match condition. There is a lot that they could do quite easily. I think it would take less effort. I, I'm not an experienced programmer whatsoever. But I think there's a lot of simple stuff they can do to give more options to your exhibition matches uh, that would t that people would get much more use out of than like different reskins and stuff. And stuff that I mentioned there, you know, I, I don't think should be DRC. If they add something like a seal case, and yeah, if it's DRC, that's partially valid. Um, I, I think in general you, that, that shouldn't be stuff you put behind a paywall, but uh, <laughs> I could understand doing it for that um, if necessary. Because I'd be buying it. <laughs> I'd be buying it. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing I want from this game. I, of course, it's flawed in other areas, but the roster, the, <laughs> once all this season passes, your season, after season three, it'll be at 65 wrestlers. Season 4 is pretty much guaranteed, and we know what we're getting. And that will bring us to 68. That is a good amount. Sure, it pales in comparison to, again, WWE games. Even fucking Wrestling Empire, sure. But it's solid. It's a solid amount. Of course, there's also 100 creator wrestler slots, um, which is a good amount of slots. So, I have more options there. I, I think... I'm not going to say that adding like adding new attire parts for creator rest is is bad prioritization because it's not. I I think creator rest needs that, but I do think more hair options. I think that'd be the main thing. More hair options. More. I would say more face options, but honestly, very cartoony, simple graphics. Having just a handful of face options is quite okay with me. Um. Because it is a very simple art style. Um, so you don't need like very complex looks or anything to resemble a wrestler. Of, of course, the wrestlers in this game sort of like their faces scan and stuff and they do look good and stuff. But um, I, I do just think hair options. I think that's a crucial one. Um, because there's a lot of... <laughs> there's a lot of specific looks that you can't do. With the lack of hair options they have, which I, I guess would include facial hair, because there's only one full beard. And if you didn't know, there's a lot of wrestlers with beards. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's stuff I'm hoping for. Uh, uh, again, my, my main ask for this game, I'm still not getting any of it really, but I will take this. I don't really have complaints with this one, you know. Uh, the price and everything is fine. Um, the actual content here is decent. The trailer showed that there's, they're going to do like more like there's like a galaxy skin dress and stuff. I don't really care about that, that stuff. It, if there's some that look good on the actual tires, then I think that's decent. Again, it's going to be at least 30 getting added, so that's something. And this here lists the, the total earnings. Um, it's a good amount. It's a good amount to say the least. Um, Forty-two new skin tire options. And that's it. Um, yeah, I think it's a solid DLC. Fourteen pound for all this. I think is decent enough. Even that's arguably not great, but I think that is much better than uh, other seasons. And yeah, I, I I think this is a good addition. I don't think it's going to save the game. But if you're someone still playing the game, I, I think this is an actual DLC pack I say is worth the money. Um, I don't think it's that crazy price, especially when you compare it to like, again, comparing it to, to the DLC in the game, but like season one had packs of like £12. This is just £2 more for a complete season of content, which is very funny um, to think about. But uh, yeah, I, I think this is solid. I like the rest of the choices in this as well. Um, apparently, update the jukebox. I'm actually just going to check that now. Um, 
oh wow, they actually they actually list what um who the wrestler's theme is. That helps a lot. Um that that was always my complaint was no one actually knows the fucking no one knows wrestler themes by the the name the actual name of the song. They know it by um the uh <laughs> by who 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 the theme belongs to. There's also, there's also a filter section for um different library and stuff. There's um a filter for premium and free tracks. So free DLC tracks. There's a uh, okay, so for the uh the free pack here I have unlocked Commander's theme, QTV's theme, another Sting theme. I'm not sure what that is. Um, Marina Shafir's theme and the Varsity Athletes theme. I don't know who those two guys are. But that's the free stuff you get. Which I think is very random, but fucking sure. Um, I, I think this is certainly a good update. Um, I don't know if they added some stuff that was already in the game but was missing. I, I don't think Judas is here still as an option. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't look like it, but this is much, this is much better organized, um, much better organization, and I think that's about it for this video. Oh, another thing I'd like, I'd like to see more championship belts. I know, I mean, they have a lot of belts on TV, um, I get not having like RH belts or New Japan belts, so I, I get not having stuff like that. You can't have the trios belts. Oh, I was saying that, I, I, I still don't understand what the limitation on wrestlers in the ring is. I even know this game would run just fine with six wrestlers if you have a fucking battle royale mode, but that's getting sidetracked. I, at a very, I like an international championship. I think that'd be a nice addition. Um, I guess you have the Continental Classic belt. I don't know the proper name of it. Um, I don't care about it in real life, but having the options for an exhibition universe mode would be good. So that's something I we probably don't we probably won't get it because um, I don't think our mind is on stuff like that. Um, and I wouldn't even say that's a priority. That's just something that came to the top of my head. But yeah, I think it's a good DLC. I think again, this is a step in the right direction for this game. It's just not the it factor this game needs. And I, I think we're at a point where. I don't think this game's going to get it. If you're complaining about the game and stuff, I, I don't think there's going to be any DLC that can bring you back. Um, unless you are willing to do, like, an exhibition, you know, playing exhibition, you make up your own universe. Because they're not going to add, like, a, a dedicated universe mode. They're not going to add a booking mode. They might add a booking mode, actually. Probably not, though. <laughs> I was expecting a lot. Um... The other thing you expect is some more options for your exhibition play. Of course, there's also online, but online has no players. Um, how the, the the icon for Stadium Stampede is stuck in Season 2. It's all in Season 2. That is a dead fucking game, which is a shame, because as janky as it was, it's a decent side mode. And they still haven't given us an offline option. Again, that's just another issue with, with this game. But my issue with this game... I, I, the, I, this DLC has not arisen anymore. I think this is just a good extra bit of content that increases the game's quality. It does not address the main issues I have with the game in terms of lack of uh, match types or match options. However, I'm still going to fucking buy it. <laughs> At least this one I will feel bad for buying because I feel this one... It, I'm actually getting my money's worth once. Um, but yeah, i going to end it here before I go into more of a ramble. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I lied. I lied. Um, I ain't going to add a recording to the end of the video because I just found an extra thing. There are five new wrestlers in the game. I don't know if this is why there was a there was that free pack as DLC. I don't know if you have to download it to get these guys in the game. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's weird. It, it's this is a community tab it, when you are on the, the roster select screen. There's just five new guys here. They are 
very much create wrestlers, I think. I, I don't think they have unique faces or anything. Um, I think these are just wrestlers you'd be able to make normally. In create wrestling, I, I know this wrestler here, Wabe, I, I have that uh, shirt on one of my create wrestlers. So I know these are definitely core parts. This kid dreamer here, the most generic core I've seen. And then you have fucking Winter Sacramento here. Um, ripped out, but uh, I don't know what the deal with these guys is. Um, so, there's some free jobs for you. I, I don't really have much to say if I fail include it, because this is probably the most curious part of this update, actually. I don't know what the significance of these guys is. I don't know why it's even listed as community. I don't know what that means. Um, I, I don't think this means there's a community creations coming. I don't think this, uh, this is a uh, sign of that. Um, but I don't know the significance of this. I don't know the significance of these guys. I don't, There probably isn't any significance to them. Um, you can't edit them. There, there's no option to edit them in because they don't show up in the uh, edit wrestler menu. They don't show up there. But they do show up on your select screen and they have their own dedicated tab. Um, I'm going to jump in a match. I'm going to jump in a match and see, like, 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 do they have, like, a regular ring announce name? Do they have their own theme songs? I don't know what the deal is here. I kind of like this, because, I mean, I, there's not really an issue with having these guys. Um, it doesn't take up any core slots. It's technically five new wrestlers. you got five new jobbers here without, a. Uh, any consequence, but uh, very fucking weird. Very weird. Um. Oh God. Randy Delta's just in a fucking diaper and in slippers. I don't want to use these guys as jobbers because that guy looks awful. Um. Yet. <sighs> The, the the women characters here look fine, but Kid Dreamer and fucking Randy Delta are some abomination trailer wrestlers here. I normally like, you know, I, I, I like it when they have their own, like, OC characters in games. But this is definitely random. But, um, if you're doing a universe mode thing, then, you know, fuck it. Just stick them in there. I don't see... Why not, per se? Other than some hideous designs. I This Winter Sacramento looks cool, but um, if this is that in-ring gear, that's going to be fucking strange, to say the least. Um, <laughs> loading in a match. Um, I don't know why they're here. I, I really don't. I am quite curious by their existence, though. Um, they're even listening to the old page. I don't think they're announced. Winter has, like, Paul White's entrance motion, I think. Okay, yeah, they just have... They don't even have, like, proper announcements. This is weird. This is so weird. And yeah, you can't edit these guys at all, so it's not like you have a free, some extra create roster slots. These are just part of the proper roster, it seems. Oh no, she does have different uh, in-ring attire. Yeah, these do look alright. I'd say for some, like... I mean, the, the women's roster in this game isn't terrible compared to... Uh, a lot of games, although that's just because <laughs> a lot of them are sexist. Like, I, I don't know the exact number now, but obviously we've got Tony Storm recently, and now we're getting Jimmy Hater. Season 4 will probably have to write it. Each season seems to be adding an album to roster. We've got free here. This community thing. If you need some, like, brand names to bulk out your women's division for an exhibition mode for your... Uh, your own universe mode thing, then there's free right there. You haven't even had to bother making them. Um, so I kind of like that. The, the the two guys 
I fucking curse though. <laughs> um, very strange, very strange, but uh, that's another thing added to this game. Um, they really just they really just add whatever the fuck they want at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, I again, I think this is a good update. It's just nothing major. Your opinion of the game is not going to shift <laughs> on this update. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll actually see you now. I'm, I'm gone. Bye. I lied again, apparently, because I just found the fucking answer on a loading screen to community wrestlers. They are custom wrestlers designed by AEW wrestlers, and they have been added to the game as community wrestlers. Community wrestlers can be used not only in exhibition, but also in Road to Elite, minigames, and other modes. Sure... I guess. Well, at least now I know who to blame for the existence of fucking Randy Dower, of course, is Kenny Omega. Um, <laughs> Kenny Omega making the game worse. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's a kind of cute little idea. Um, it's relatively harmless because you're getting extra extra bodies in, in your save about them taking up Kray Rattle slots. You can't customize them at all, though. You think this would be a good use for the weird, wacky reskin stuff here. Or just an option to edit them anyway. Um, because I'm sorry, but Randy Dowler is fucking disgusting. What a disgusting, <laughs> disgusting creation. Um, I think the other three designed are quite cool. Um, <laughs> but but it is weird, and I guess it's just gonna be something that we get more of. Um, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it because it, I I I do typically like just random fucking OCs slapped into the game. Um, I will say this one's a bit weirder though. I mean, both in the the context here, but also. Because they are just creator asses. These are just creator asses forced into your save. <laughs> um, but they don't take up, take up any slots, so it, it it's free bodies, you know. Have them be jobbers or just don't use them at all. It doesn't really matter. Um, I quite like the women um, creator asses here, though. I think those are act some actual cool designs. Um, <laughs> and they actually look like wrestlers. Um, unlike Randy Delta, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's that. So this is our equivalent of community creations, I guess. It's just actual AEW wrestlers making them. Very weird. Very weird. Um, but I, I think it's fun though. But yeah, this is the actual end of the video. I'm going away. And no, I'm not redoing any of this because no one, <laughs> no one cares. This is so fucking funny. But I swear this is the final recording. I'm gone now. Bye.